This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Susan Faulkner, Evans, and Bo. We're doing our warm-up, and uh, we are really super focused in this warm-up. I think this is the eighth time we've asked Bo to stay connected at this level for second level and never at the warm-up. So now we're asking him to stay connected at the warm-up so we can get him sitting down in balance right from the get-go. Now right now he's not active behind, right? So now add the activity behind. And remember, first your half halt, because that half halt that you do with your body will become the signal for him to sit. So think half halt, get him to sit. He's going to tell you you've lost your mind. There he goes. Good. Praise him. Good. Half halt, have him sit and supple him. That's right. And he's going to be very tentative because we've never done this in the warm-up before. He might even not be happy. Yeah. So they're competing in second level this year. Good. That's it. All right. Now you'll start. You're going to start feeling how fast he drops his bounce. Good. You're going to do short steps at the walk and get him more active so he tucks his rump under. So you're going to tuck your seat with a half halt at the same time he does. When he does that, you push him against your right rein and leg. Because, yeah, feel him going to the left? Push him against your right rein and leg. Have him take up the connection on the right side. Good, until he's straight, and then you're going to push him over to the other side for a couple steps. So now you're starting to feel how you're going to fix his back end from moving over. That's it. Think of a neck rein on the left side. He needs to be more supple on the left rein. Good. So whatever your outside rein is, make sure that he's soft in his jaw, soft in his pole, soft in his neck. That's it. Now you can feel he's not sitting down, but that's where he should be right now. Shorten the step to the walk and tell me when you feel him picking up his back the most. Supple him. Good. Supple him. There. Feel how big he is? Now, ideally, it would be nice if he would walk forward and just stay up in this balance, but he probably won't at first. So just let him do whatever he wants and see if you can get him to just keep his feet moving. Good. That's it. And now you're going to do two steps to the right. Push. Make sure it's a neck rein you put him against, a bearing rein. So he's got to go directly and stretch into your outs of the other rein and leg. Good. Now stretch him into your left rein and leg. Keep him soft. See if he'll take a neck rein. Get him to... That's it. That rein should wrap right around his neck. Good, Susan. Do you feel how you're using the rein different? And then straighten him out between the two reins and legs. You feel he's starting to drop you? So right away, shift him to your right rein and leg. Or whenever you get to it. That's right. He's got to wrap his neck around that right rein, so it's like a neck rein, so you'll have to supple it more. And he's going to say he physically can't do it. Slow down the steps until you feel him sit in. There, he's starting to get big. Feel it? And then let him go forward. Good. That's it. Just take your time. Keep him supple. It's a thinking exercise, isn't it? Yep, now make sure when you shift him, like to the right rein and right leg, because it should wrap around his neck, that rein. When he comes to the left, I should see it hugging the mane, the neck. Good. Now send him over this way, and I'm going to see his neck bulging against the left rein. Yep, see if you can get the neck to bulge against it. There, 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 there. Feel it? That's how you control the base of his neck more. Keep, that's it. Keep him in that rein and leg. Good. That's it. All right. So now in our warm-up, that's it. That's it. You feel his steps are getting looser now? Okay. Now as you're going more sideways, is he still on his inside hind? So if you're getting him to step up to the left rein, he's got to step up more with his left hind. If you're going to the right, you're going to get him to step up more to his right hind leg. Good. That's it. Where is he now? You can feel he was like in La La Land, right? And that's where he'll be right now, is in between the things. You want to get to where he stays connected to you every step. Praise him. Good. Good, Susan. Praise him a lot. Okay, now you'll feel him start to disconnect. That's when you send him the other way. That's it. This way you're going to get more control of what he's doing his back. He's going to say he can't do it. That's right. You might have to bring his nose more to the right if you're trying to go to the left. There. There. You see the point you have to bring his nose for him to go to the left? Good. And what this is really going to do is get his back end straighter. That's it. 
Good. Yep, he should hold that right rein. There, right there. Good, Susan. Good, good. So you're just learning now how to get him to step into one outside rein or the other, and then you're getting him to soften as you do it. Good. He's got to wrap around that left rein. And you'll feel there'll be one side he won't want to take up the feel, right? That's his weaker side. It's not that he's being bad. It's, you know, you've just got to get him to where he'll let you shift his weight over. Good. Good. Yes, yes, you're getting a better feeling of his balance. Now, if he can stay sitting, you can walk him with a longer step. And just be aware, when he loses it, you're going to shift him over to your outside rein and leg. So he picks you up. Feel him picking you up? Good. And, yep, and we're not worried about him having a lot of activity or anything right now because you're learning a different way to be able to keep him balanced against your outside rein and leg. Good, Susan. That's it. Just a couple steps, then you're going to check him. You'll find that in between the two, like you can go two steps to one rein and leg or three, whichever you're doing, and then try to do a couple steps straight and then switch them to the other side. The hardest part will be the straight line in the middle because that's where you're going to feel where his tendency will be to drift out with either his shoulder or his back end. Good. Okay, go to one side, either two or three steps, whichever you're working on. Make sure he wraps around that left rein. Okay, now go straight. See if you can keep him straight between the two reins and legs. You feel where he likes to go? Now push him over to your right rein and legs so he wraps around his right rein. Be him more active with his left hind. More active. More active. More active. Yep, now we're going to increase the activity. Good, Susan. And then straight in between. When we get down to the other end, we're going to try this at the trot. Straight in between, feel where he goes. As soon as you feel him disconnect, yep, he's got to wrap around that right rein if you're going to the if you're going to the right. Good. That's it. Yep. Hold that right rein against his neck. He's got to learn how to take that. Good, good. Get his left hind more active when he's on the right side. Okay, straight. Now shift him to the left rein and leg, getting his right hind more active. 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 That's it. Good, good. Praise him. And then straight. One more to each side. Shift him over to the left rein and right rein and leg, whichever one you're going to. More activity with his left hind. More activity. More. Right there. Good, Susan. Straight. Oh, you're riding the base of his neck different. Good. Get more activity. Good, good. Okay, now let's play with this at the trot. Wait, before you do though, what are you feeling as you do this? What's this doing for him? I don't know. He's hardly moving, so it's hard to tell. But are you starting to feel when he's against the neck? Yeah. Okay, that's a big deal because he doesn't usually like to go against any rein. So the one thing it's doing is it's isolating if he's going against your rein and leg. Good, which we really haven't focused that much on before like this. That's it. Look at, look at, that's it. Now make sure he goes against your leg and your rein. And you'll feel like he'll try to go too far out with his rear end, right? Okay, that's when you're going to push him to the right rein leg. So now you're starting to feel, because you're so aware of your position, you want to feel, is he stepping to the side instead of stepping forward? And it's normal for him to step more to the side at first because he's not used to engaging. Okay, let's go into the trot now.